Hey everybody, hope everyone's having a good summer so far. So, thought I would check in on Tim Henderson today, June 15th, 2023, because he made a video that um, reminds me of a, a video or a series of videos he did four years ago. Um, in fact, in today's video, he brings up that time four years ago when he was featured in a national publication for his views on the rapture. And he's quite proud of that. Uh, he, pre he pretends like he's he's miffed by it and chuckles at it, but really he he loves it. He loved the attention that he got. Um, I want to I want to use this video to once again make the main points that I'm trying to make about these guys. They are liars. They are liars for profit, money profit, and for their own personal satisfaction in getting attention for themselves around their hobby. Not all of them are into this for money. Tim Anderson does make money from it, um, as do some others. But basically, they want attention. They want respect. So they use God's name, and they use God's holy word, because they believe that using God's name brings instant credibility to what they're saying. And they can use God's word as a weapon as well. So if you disagree with me, I'll slap a little Second Peter 3 on you. That'll show you. That'll shut you up right? You're a mocker and a scoffer if you disagree with my news events that I'm interpreting. Figure that one out. Okay, but see, at the end of the day, none of these liars want accountability for what they say in God's name. You see, it's scary to use God's name too heavily when you talk about something because then if that thing doesn't happen, you just use God's name overtly and in public and they don't like that. It's uncomfortable. So while they, while they tell you they're ministers sent from God doing the Lord's work, these are important messages from God, if the messages just so happen to not actually come to pass, if things don't actually happen the way I say they're going to happen in God's name, well, don't blame me. I'm not a prophet. You actually should blame yourself for not really digging in and looking at this and being a Berean or... Or, you know what, just just remember that this is all for fun, really, at the end of the day. This isn't that serious. Quit taking it so seriously. Let me show you. So, like I said, here's Tim Henderson this month, June 15th, uh, 2023. I'm going to let him talk. Yes, we should be joyful, looking, but also occupying and redeeming the time. And so I want to encourage you. So when I say things like that, there are people come out. It was when that whole July 17th thing happened, I, my, I was in the Daily Star in the UK and I never said it. I'm the one who came out and said, stop it, stop date setting. And they said, I'm the doomsday preacher who said Jesus is going to come that day. But I'm the, eh, it doesn't matter. Um, I still kind of laugh about that, chuckle about that. So what he's uh, irritated with is what a lot of these guys are irritated with right now. Um, there have been a few semi-high profile YouTube watch people saying, you know, the rapture is going to happen a certain date. And this happens every so often, a couple times a year. Um, either either specific dates are set that fail, or people just plain and simply get tired of guys like Tim running their mouths month after month after month, year after year, sometimes five times a day, promising the rapture is any second. And Tim just doesn't want to get um, just doesn't want to admit that this gets old. You can't just keep saying that over and over again, and then nothing happens, and then people are still happy with you. So let's just fact check Tim, fact check Tim here for a second, though. Here's the mention. This is, uh, like I said, June of, of 2019. <clears throat> so just, you know, I found this June 16th, 2019, four years ago. They talk about the strawberry moon. And then they say that um, the rapture isn't, a, you know, um, astronomy fans love it, but some doomsday preachers will be waiting for the world to end, like Tim Henderson, who monitors events that could signal the end of mankind. That is true. He does do that. He was doing that in 2019. Believes the strawberry, the rapture starts with the strawberry moon tomorrow. Mm. I'll let, I'll, I'll play his clips and you tell me what he believes. And down here he says... They say he explained a number of factors had allowed him to pinpoint the end of times. That's absolutely true. He says that all the time. He just said it. We know we're in the end times. We know it's here. Um, 
So let's let's play his clips and what in what he said. Listen carefully to what he says. Again, they're slippery. They don't want to say any kind of date per se because then they're held accountable when the date passes and they don't want that. But they also want you to stay fully engaged with them and excited all the time about well it could be. And so they try to they push a date without really pushing the date. We also know that, and, and I have felt as I prayed and in my spirit, I Wait, will never... What did you just say, liar? I have felt as I prayed and in my spirit. What does that mean coming from a pastor, Tim? Do, do you not want to admit that you just stated that God himself is, is leading you in your prayers? What do you mean, Tim, when you say that if that's not what you mean? That you're you're you had you have constipation, you have you have bloating in, in your belly and there's gas escaping from your orifices, and that's the feeling you had? That was Satan talking to you, Timmy? Was your mom telling you something in a dream? What what do you mean, you liar? Tell us what you mean. Well, they don't want to tell you that. He doesn't want to tell you, well, God spoke to me in this thing. Because, say, a day nor hour for the rapture, the catching away of the church. I will tell you that this is a high watch period. Right now, June, July is a high watch period. And Based on what? The, the feeling you got while praying? Because now you're claiming that God gave you that feeling. And now, based on that... You're going to give us this piece of information, right? Something significant Wait, is back going to July is a high watch period, and something significant is going to happen. Whatever that is a high watch period, and something significant is going to happen. Whatever that is, I know as I approach <laughs> something significant is going to happen. As I prayed, something significant is going to happen. Sound the alarm, rapture is soon. I, I just... What, what are you talking about, Tim? Are you going to tell us what you mean by that? Between, I'm going to say, this evening through Monday evening, and it's a full moon Monday. It's uh -huh. a strawberry moon, which all that simply means is the full moon in June, and it, it's called that because of the wild strawberries and, and the time that they would be harvested. But these things, I believe, you add them all together, are just wonderful, significant things that we are seeing. It is a full moon. So I wanted to... So I wanted to share that with you, that we are in that high watch time now. Tim, you just stated, and these are your words, I'm not editing anything. This is exactly how you said it. I was praying, and I felt and thought as I prayed that we're in these high watch time in these days, between now and Monday, and there's a full moon, it's a strawberry moon, and, and, and your, the title of your video is Rapture is Soon, and, and we all know what you're talking about anyway, because the rest of your video, you just go on and on about Rapture. So what, what else are we to conclude but what this, this guy, these guys said? <laughs> right? And then you want to deny that later on, four years later, you're still miffed that people caught you in, in your lie? You know, you're alternatively miffed that you're caught in your lie and excited that you got so much press for it, right? I want to add to the video that I did just a short time ago. The and one that just is, did. I, I was so impressed on the 17th, the 17th, and I looked up the meaning of the number. Numbers have meanings. Not, this is not numerology. This is not. Yes, it is. What that means. <laughs> See, another way these liars lie. I'm going to tell you the meaning behind a number. It's not numerology, though. Oh, just because you said so? This is, this is, this is psychopath. Like, I can literally sit here and lie my face off to people purposefully there's no reason to even say any of this stuff why why bring any of this up what's the 17th who cares don't you have enough people this is like his fourth video that day didn't you do enough videos already why do you have to keep adding to them in the bible when we look at it and it means victory or perfection I'll where tell you what, I who am, says who says the things are happening and the lord has ordained for things to happen we're going to be praying here shortly hey, see? so one more so again, he just stated, he just used the Lord's name in vain again. Said things are happening, the Lord has ordained things to happen. He's using God's name, saying the things that are happening around us, this strawberry moon, this 
Number 17, it, it's all connected to the rapture, that being soon, and things are happening, and God ordained them. T tell me how that's not using God's name, Tim. So at the end of the day, my point is made, you can see that they say things without really saying them. They, they, they slither around the date set. Um, they use very vague language while using extremely aggressive uh, urgency and everything that they say so that you, you feel like you're being taken on a roller coaster ride. And then when you're mad about this because you're just going around in circles all the time, they say, well, we'll just you better not lose your faith over this because if you lose your faith over this, that's on you, man. You should have stronger faith. Don't listen to the date setters, but listen to me. I'm the guy who tells you every day it's soon, and, and I'm okay, because I never put an actual date. Of course, people like Tim say we're in the generation that will 100%, I'm quoting him, 100% see the rapture. We are the generation. So Tim apparently thinks generations last forever. They just last for hundreds of years, right? So once again, Tim, you have my number. The same phone number we already corresponded with four or five years ago. Text me. You also can find my email on my channel. Let's get together. We can talk on the phone, not record it. We can just talk, and I can explain to you face-to-face, man-to-man, what your issues are and where I'm offended. And by the way, hundreds more people like me in the church, your brothers, are offended by what you say. And I can explain it to you per Matthew 18. Or we can get on your YouTube channel and live stream. I don't need any prep, Tim. Just invite me and I'll join and we'll talk right there live. You want, you want to do that? Or do you want to just keep ignoring all this? It's up to you.